Um, well, listen, earlier this week, we all know this, we observed the anniversary of the September 11th, 2001 terror attacks. It, I mean, it is really difficult to watch this video, I think, so many years later. Since then, more than 40,000 Minnesotans have answered the call to serve our country in the military. How grateful we are for them. Yes, and today on Twin Cities Live, we want to tell you about a unique effort to say thank you to all those men and women and their families with a gift, believe this, free money. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Joe Benick is with the Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund. MMAF is currently looking for service members who qualify for these cash grants wow. and don't know about the program. So, so you're not looking for us to give you the money. You're looking to give out the money. That's correct. Fascinating. So, uh, why was the Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund created? So as, as we know, Monday was September 11th. Mm -hmm. um, shortly following after, U.S. went into Afghanistan, went into Iraq. Uh, our founder, Gene Sitt, wanted to make sure that this generation of veterans was not treated the way that Vietnam veterans were treated. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so that was, that was the basis. It was a way to say thank you to Minnesota service members and their families. And where's the money come from? It's been all privately raised, um, fundraising events, uh, different grassroots efforts. We've, got, we've had great support from the entire state of Minnesota. And so uh, it's, it's really a Minnesota effort. And, and as you said earlier, Kevin, it's a uniquely Minnesotan effort. So you're not hearing about this happening anywhere else in the country? No, we are the only organization like our kind in the country. Wow. Yes. And is it difficult for you to get donations or do people really want to step up and help? Pe people do want to step up and help. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it, as I said, it has truly been a grassroots effort from across the entire state of Minnesota. So tell us about, okay, here's a unique thing is that they estimate there's 40,000 veterans. They've only found 20,000, Elizabeth, to give the free grants to, and they're searching for the other 20,000 right now. That's correct. And so, Joe, tell us who is eligible. So, uh, people who served in a combat zone after September 11th, 2001, mm -hmm. and are either a Minnesota resident or were attached to a Minnesota Guard or Reserve unit. And so again, we, we think there are about 40,000 that fit that qualification. And you've given out money to half of them. What do the grants consist of? And then what do people do with the money? They can do anything they want with the money. And that's what makes us unique. It's not a need-based grant. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a grant to say thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Three specific amounts, $500 to anyone who served honorably in a combat zone post 9-11. Mm -hmm. Two to ten thousand dollars to Purple Heart recipients, depending on the severity of their injuries, and then five thousand dollars to Gold Star families of Minnesotans killed in action. And how much money have you given away to how many people? We've given away thirteen point three million dollars to nineteen thousand seven hundred Minnesotans. Holy Is that moly. amazing? So, what happens to when you're giving the money to these people? I mean, are they are they shocked? Or, I, I mean, what's going on? Well, it's uh. It, there, there's a whole range of reactions. Yeah. Um, people have used the money for Christmas presents, birthday presents, uh, paying for textbooks for school, auto repairs. Um, some of the most impactful stories, you know, uh, we do receive service members who, who need the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, those are some of the most gratifying grants that we can give out. When you can physically see weight lifted off people's shoulders with a, a small grant. Mm -hmm. Joe, we got about 30 seconds. Uh, for viewers who are not familiar with this, but may have a member of your family who may qualify, what should people do? Uh, visit our website, thankmntroops.org. You can find out how to apply online uh, for those that might want to support. There's information about donating. Mm -hmm. But again, we, we just want to spread the word and find those 20,000 Minnesotans that are eligible for our grant. We just want to say thank you. I would <laughs> imagine that the financial gift is impactful, but the emotional legacy of their fellow Minnesotans thinking of them and wanting to just make a difference has to be huge too. It, exactly. Oh, wow. It's all about saying thanks. Great job, Joe. Joe. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Isn't that I'm so interesting? glad you were here. Yeah. This Thank is you, really Joe. good. You thanks, subjected thanks. this. So, so um, you can visit that website that we talked about, and Joe mentioned right there. It's thankmntroops.org. There you can donate, apply for a grant, and we'll have that linked up on TwinCitiesLive.com too, and start to think about the folks mm -hmm. in your life that mm -hmm. you might know who uh, might be eligible. Just a thank you. Huge. It's so, it's so, what a great program. Great. So, 